Where's Hal, everybody, and welcome to yet another video, and welcome to yet another Warhammer 40k video, my dear friends. So, if you've been following European law for at least four months, you know that it is about four months now since I got into Warhammer 40k. And it is a proof of the fact that um, you can get into new things at any age. Now, I'm 31. And I have been a massive fantasy and science fiction aficionado my entire life, devoted huge chunks of my existence to fantasy literature, old myths and legends and folklore, my personal life, my academic life, never got into Warhammer 40k. Until about four months ago when I finally decided to do that. And I believe that I am in for life. So, I'm about 11 novels in. Uh, I, my thing is mainly reading the novels, reading the codexes, trying to look for the old editions of the novels, old codexes, you know, researching stuff the good old way, you know, black on white, on paper, trying to get into it. And, um, I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been a blast. Um, having something new to discover, having something new to learn, each and every single day is extremely refreshing and I've got reviews of all the novels that I've read on my channel. There's a uh, playlist, my dear friends, on my channel called Warhammer 40,000. I shall post a link in the description down below so you can check them out. Uh, but with the new discovery and the new hobby, uh, there's a challenge that uh, comes with it, of course. And uh, because there's always a challenge about everything in life, right? But as far as Warhammer 40k is, the fact that um, Games Workshop slash uh, Black Library, they don't keep much of their older novels in print. And that is something that I have been struggling with for the entirety of the for four months. And I believe that I will be struggling with it for much longer. Especially then when you know that you want to read something like the uh, Space Wolf Omnibus, which I really want to read. Absolutely sold out everywhere. You look at eBay, it's like 70, 80 euros for this paperback. I'm not paying that for a paperback, so I had to purchase it digitally. But each and every single time I managed to score some paper book, it is like Christmas for me. And that's why I decided to do an unboxing video, an unexpected kind of video for me, my dear friends. I don't do these very often. I wonder if I have ever done this on this particular channel. Never mind. I've got some Warhammer 40k goodness today and I shall uh, share it with you. Now, I have no idea about the availability of uh, these particular pieces that I'm about to unfold, that I'm about to open. I shall try not to show you the uh, label with my address on it, but um, it's something that, of course, is, uh, I think, a compulsory read for every Warhammer 40k aficionado. Uh, by the way, people have been asking me already, like, where do I start with Warhammer 40k European law? Well, firstly, thanks for asking, you know, <laughs> thanks for asking a newbie. But um, I've got a video, I think, as well, in that uh, playlist called How to Start or How to Get into Warhammer 40k as a Newbie in 2024. I think it's quite comprehensive and quite informative and quite entertaining. But uh, to make long story short, I think that, that these questions are kind of, like, useless. I mean, you can start at whatever age you like, with whatever you like. You, you will find your way. If you want to explore something, if you want to learn new things, if you want to get into a new fandom, if you are enthusiastic enough, and if, if you are interested enough in the subject matter, you will always find your own way. I've never asked anybody, where do I start? I've never watched any law videos. I've never... I wonder if I've ever watched any law video in, in my life. I don't like them, I don't watch them, I don't care about them. I care about this, what I've got here, my friend. So I shall start with the small ones. This is something that the, not many people are buying these days. This is actually physical CDs, um, audiobooks. The Horus Heresy Echoes of Imperium. Now, I'm not much into audiobooks, I prefer to read, but, um, I mean, come on, this is, 
a a black black library publication you, you find this you you need to get it if you want to and especially then when you know i'm also in like uh four novels in in the uh warhammer 40k i've just recently finished the flight of the eisenstein as i like to pronounce it and so i would like to read all of them and listen to all of them so it's good to have it you know and uh i i've, I've always preferred physical copies physical editions of cds dvds blu-ray uh, disc, so yeah, and it's you know, sanguineous on the cover. So, come on, and to go in vain with what I'm reading right now, which is the Dark Angels omnibus, as of making of this video, is the Dark Angels Except No Failure by Gav Thorpe, yet another uh, audiobook, and uh, over an hour dr of drama plus original script and wallpapers. Ooh, includes bonus story, Holder of the Keys. I'm going to enjoy this. And there's like a booklet. Ah, oh, see? This is, ah, oh, this is something extraordinary. Now, to the main thing of this package. Um, I am always trying to find old novels. The, I think that the oldest ones, the, 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 the stories came out like, uh, the end of the 80s, the beginning of the, of the 90s, but uh, the, the Black Library publications, they started at around, like, uh, the beginning of the millennium, right? And I think that the first one that uh, that I have got on my list, or the oldest one that I, I've got on my list came out in 1999 or something. It's not that one. But this is the first uh, volume in the Ultramarines series, The Nightbringer. And... Um, Slowly getting to know about all the Astartes chapters so far, the Dark Angels and the Space Wolves being my favorites, and I think it is going to stay that way. But and Blood Angels, I'm going to get into them as well. I've just ordered ordered some of the those books as well. So uh, definitely, I think that um, if you want to start with Ultramarines, reading something about them, I think that like. What is described as being the first in the series of Ultramarines novels, The Nightbringer by Graham McNeil, isn't a very bad way to start, is it? So, this is uh, the Warhammer 40k goodness for today. This 20, uh, 20th, 20th anniversary edition of uh, The Nightbringer by Graham McNeil uh, with illustrations, a hardback. I love these hardbacks, man. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely excited to get into these. Absolutely excited to review these for you. And uh, all that remains now is to, for you to tell me in the comments down below. What do you think? Have you get or oh, have you read this novel? What is your favorite Astartes chapter? Or do you prefer any other part of the Imperium, like the Inquisition? Which was, by the way, the first book from the Warhammer 40k universe I've ever read. The Eisenhorn omnibus. And uh, that will be all. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, the Emperor predicts.